six years of hard training and actual battle experience in Spain and Poland had made the German army look invincible. But what about the British and French? First, let's take up the British. They started from scratch, but both at home and abroad, an army was growing. For not only Britain had declared war, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, the whole British Commonwealth of Nations was also determined on victory over Hitlerism and all it stands for. And Britain had one weapon that was ready, the Royal Navy. Shortly after war was declared, it had swept German shipping from the high seas. And units of the British fleet were deployed at Suez, Malta, Gibraltar, in the Channel, and in the North Sea, blockading Germany. World conquest was impossible without running smack up against the rock called Britain. How to strike at that little island? That was the question. Between Britain and Germany stood not only France, but the little countries of Luxembourg, Belgium, Holland, Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. The people of these small neutral countries were peaceful, hardworking, and free. They knew they were in the middle and feared violation of their neutrality. Hitler knew this. He also knew that if they united with the Allies, they would form a solid democratic wall against Nazi aggression, and their conquest would be far more difficult. So before striking with his armies, he used another weapon, the propaganda barrage, to confuse, to make them lose faith, to divide and conquer. <laughs> 